So this is kind of a follow-up, but kind of a sidetrack. Uh, if you remember, we were looking at the bandpass filter in the NorCal 40A, and I had checked a few components, and then I was going to check L6 to see what we were up against, because one manual says 28 turns, and the other said 30, but it did say 3.5 microhenry. So in the mail came the Atlas LCR45, and it is build to be auto component identification and measurement. So we're going to hook up L6. We're going to measure it the way it was in the circuit. We push the button. And there we are, 3.4 microhenry, which is pretty close to 3.5. And then somebody in the comments said, why don't you adjust the turns or squeeze them or uh, some comment like that. So it's kind of interesting with this meter. Um, we can do that. So we'll unhook it for just a sec here and I'll spread the turns out as evenly as I can. And it may not be perfect, but it'll be close. That looks uh, pretty spread out. Anyway, you can give me a grade for effort on that. So we'll try that again. And I think uh, it's more fun to have the, the reveal when we power up. It's supposed to auto-identify and measurement. So we'll do that. All right, we've got her hooked up again. And we'll see what kind of reveal we get here. So 3.2 with them completely spread out. Now you can take your guess when I compress them together, what will happen up or down. And I'll show you that. And I guess this would only work when the wire fits easily on the core, because sometimes they're full, so you couldn't really do a lot of squeezing or expanding, because it's already filled the core. All right, here we go again. Well, now it says 3.35. I'm going to power off and come back up again. 3.36. So we didn't go up a lot. And if I, if I uh, open it up manually while we're here, we're at 3.36. And now we're down to 3.24. So if I'm supposed to be at 3.5, we're not getting there by doing this squeezing. So I may add a couple of turns and see if we get to 3.5 for the measurement uh, or for the value in that filter for the NorCal 40A. But just while we're here, I thought I'd give you another little uh, fun bit here. I dug in the, in the junk box and uh, got out a couple of components and we'll give you a test. So let's see if we can get focused on this. Not very well. There we go. All right. You can pick the direction you want to read it. I'll show you that way. And then we'll uh, show you this way if you like that better. So the numbers that I see would be a red, a purple, and a brown. So you, you tell me if that's a resistor or a capacitor and what the value might be. So I'll go ahead and knock it up and we'll see what we get. All right, so it's an inductor, and there's the red, purple, and brown. It's a 240 microhenry inductor. Hopefully that was your guess. All right, we're going to do a, a couple more here because I'm playing with a new toy. All right, how about this one? That looks to me like a green, a brown, and a black. So is that an inductor or a resistor, and what will the value be? So we'll connect that up. I guess it knows that right away without a power up. So it's 51 ohms. So that's definitely a resistor. And then I've got another one for you. This one gives you a whole lot more choices. So this is a Dale part. That might give it away for some. And then it says uh, 8813 and then RN60C. And then it says uh, 5601F. So what do you think it is and what's the value? So we'll connect it up and we'll see. 
And I guess if I was going to take a guess, it would be something like uh, green, blue, brown, or pardon me, green, blue, black, brown. So uh, let's see. And there you are. So it's supposed to be a 5.6K. And we'll do uh, one more for the fun of it. This is for the old timers. So what do you think the value of this will be? This looks like somebody's plate choke or something. So that's a two millihenries. So that's much, much bigger than anything else. I think even the... Uh, I think the Klein would handle that one. And this one was a surprise for me. This one looks uh, more beefy, but the wire isn't that big. But as it turns out, I've held onto this thing forever for uh, not much reason because it's uh, not even an inductor anymore. So somewhere in all those turns, the wires must be broken. But I see there's a wire on this end and there's a wire on this end. And I don't see any breakage in the middle when I look at it. But the sad thing isn't an inductor anymore. And then the last one we'll do is this. Uh, first of all, tell, take a guess of what you think the value will be. I guess we're, we're guessing probably micro Henry's because it's uh, not very big. But it does have what appears to be, I guess, some kind of iron core. So let's see what we get. one lead and the other lead and we get 12 micro henry's and the slug is all the way forward so if i move the slug back in it goes from 12 to 22 23 micro henry's so that's kind of a cool thing i don't know what i would use it for so if anybody wants it let me know <laughs> Who knows what the uh, material is inside or what the Tempco is, but it's a cool part. Anyway, that's the uh, introduction to my new Atlas LCR45, and it uh, solves the mystery on the NorCal, so we'll add a couple of turns and see if we can get a better 7 megahertz bandpass filter. All right, see you guys. Bye.